Jesus. I know you don't believe in Allah and the, the Muslims God. What is God to you? It means every Negro around here walking around doing every Negro thing. It's not even a attitude. It is the absolute of what you are. We are actually greater than what we would call a God. A God is actually just a title. And a, a, a God, you know, all those attributes that they give God as a creator and all those things. See, I, magic is a, another way of saying God because I'm able to create whatever reality I want. I mean, for my personal situation. And once I empowered over the years people with same technique, they're able to create their own personal space. So God is actually you sleeping. All those, anything that's outside of you is a training, a misinformation and mind control. So if you feel God is anything outside of you, maybe you need to do a little bit more. It's not up to me to convince you, it's up to you to get convinced yourself who God is. Okay, this image here. Look at that. That's in a mythology called the Tale of Two Brothers. Wait a minute. Why is Horison said, because that's who those pictures were, of Horison said, considered two brothers. This is where you get the statement, Satan, ye get behind me. Because Horace and Seth are actually a duality within you. When I told you how to die and not come back, it told you you must be turned over. The world of the upside down, the, 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 the dead king must be turned over to get into the world of the real. And the world of the fake is upside down. This is the world of the upside down. The world of Set. The world of Set is humanity. That's why he's a pig. He's swine. That's why he's a, a, a donkey or a mule, whatever, he's stubborn. All of those things are talking about matter. Matter, not how you act or react. See, when we talk about dark side and light side, what are we really talking about, people? We're talking about behavior for you niggas. That's not what this is about, you stupid humans. That's not what this is about behavior. That's what you're about because you humanized all of this information. You humanized all of this information. You have to take this out the human aspect and get into the con concepts of it and then apply those concept templates to your own situation. You're trying to use the conscious community as a situation to hide your own inefficiency in. You're not doing nothing yourself, so you blame it on all this conscious shit and, 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 and what motherfuckers is not doing and what's the next thing white people are doing. It's all a grand distraction of your own self because you won't deal with that which is in. The duality was in you. Satan, you get behind me. The negative aspect of yourself that you must look at. People don't want to look at their dark side. That's what this is. Humanity is the definition of dark side. When you was on the other side, you said, I am going into darkness. I am going into the abyss. Stuff. I am going into the darkness of the womb. You went into darkness, you dumb fuck. That was be called becoming a human. You were already a light being. You were already on the light side. So now maybe you understand a little bit more when you hear the Moors say, oh, no, you're he the said, white man. You may have a favorite cup, and that favorite cup of yours is your bliss. He said, but what you can guarantee is that cup will be broke. So not mm -hmm. to focus on the tragedy of life, of the cup being broke, you need to fo focus on the happy times, the happy times that you had with the cup. And that's the only bliss you're going to get down here. You get <laughs> said, he said, I'm sorry I broke your cup. She said, I knew you was going to break my cup. Remember that? Right. She yes. said, the question, the question is, would you have done it if you would have known? What's your favorite cup is going to be broke. Your pillow, your favorite pillow is going to get lost. Your cat right. will die. You get what I'm saying? Yes. But you need yes. to live in the moment with your cat. So, Because in the very next sentence, well, they was in the cave and they was eating their own doo-doo. You know what I'm saying? The black man already had universities, libraries, 
we were doing it, man. There was a chicken in every pot. The black women knew how to twist your hair in certain configurations that lined up with the serious star system that gave you consciousness that opened up your third ventricle that created an elixir in the body that we created geniuses through our sexual Congress, which was unionized through the strength of the all being knowing an energy field we call Pata. Oh, yeah, 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 nigga. What's some deep shit? You got it, nigga. I guess we spiritual. White people, and we're just programmed not to do anything. What well, Wesley wanted to kill him, so therefore we talk a great game about what we would do to that old beast, that old cracker, but it doesn't happen. The one thing he does not want us to do, the one and only effective thing we can do, because we proved already physically that we're not going to do anything. We proved that we're not going to do anything. Just by looking around and yeah. time they walk freely through your neighborhood, you scared to walk through theirs at right. as Trayvon. A white kid can do that shit, though, here, because you just can't do nothing. You've been mind controlled. Scary folks. So the only way to fight back is through what? Your mind. So email, email, email. Yeah. Y'all are stuck niggas. That's why I'm talking to y'all. Y'all think y'all got something because y'all saying Hotep, Beloved, Oshun, Alafia, Seamoss, but y'all still don't know what to do when you die. You're still scared to death. You're still not probing it. You're still not meditating deep enough. You, you you thinking, you're not meditating because you're coming up with all the answers that you want to hear, which means you're thinking and you're, pu- you're picking what you want to happen. You're not dealing with it as it comes down as reality. You're not dealing with the bad and the good. I deal with the abuse in me, the wrong in me, the art, the arrogant in me, and, and try to recognize where it comes from and eradicate that human flaw. You must, you must. You are throwing away your humanity. The more you the more you threw with it, the more you know what to do with it. But the more you're intrigued, it's the slap is real. The slap is fake. Nigga, you still in this. And you put yourself, unfortunately, in that fucking circle or that fucking loop constantly. It's time to get off the circle. Circle of reincarnation or reincarceration. You, you got to know the landscape. And to know the landscape, you first start with meditation to start learning how to quiet the mind and get the mind still for as long as you can. You want to start meditating yourself to sleep with an intention because you bring that intention in the astral world. You use the techniques in the book by Robert Frost, Astral Dynamics. You use those techniques. And what you'll find is he'll teach you exercises, just like in psychomancy. He'll teach you exercises on on what to do to get in that astral world and bring your consciousness here, your logic with you as an observer. And once you start knowing the landscape and exercising and becoming conscious in that world, that world talks more to you greater than just the intuition. It starts telling you, First, you'll hear voices that speak out of the rhythm of your thinking. You'll be in your head is where he colonized you. No land defines you. You're no more than from Africa than you are from America. You are a universal being, and the planet Earth in this universe is yours. You have an invader on all your lands. And he's colonized your mind. The body is a side effect. The trauma that he induced is also a methodology to reprogram you. You reprogram through repetition, symbols, and trauma. So he wasn't traumatizing you just, well, yes, he was, just for the sake of having fun. But while he enjoyed this fun, there's methodologies. See, the emotional dumb white man shows up to the hanging of a black man. The occultist 
takes the picture. And that picture invokes the same terror as the same as the man who was hanging that day. So all those pictures that you've seen, those famous pictures of a black man hanging while white people point to the tree and all these white people are holding their kids up, those white people ain't shit. They're just in it for the fun. They're just in it for the man who are hanging. But the one who took the picture understands he's the real terrorist. And they terrorized here. They colonized here. They're taken here. Africa is here. Here. You understand? And long as they're in your heart, they control you with fear. Joe asthmatic, depressive ass. Fear is here. Africa's here. The land is here. America is yours. Mexico is yours. India is yours. Sumeria, Iraq is yours. And it's yours based upon your dream. Because it's not real. The only thing that is real is what's in here. And what projects here. Through the ego. The ego is how you manifest through this illusion. It's how you navigate through this illusion. And your ego is out of control. You should be egotistically proud of your creations. Directly. This energy is nothing more than a detailed definition of your mind. And if you truly know thyself, you don't need the pageantry to start working and exercising your mind. This shit is about calisthenics. So your mind goes as far as the push-ups you did. The push-ups you do are through meditation, through affirmation. You get what I'm saying? Through straight understanding of self and your undying need to know. An undying need to know. Not how much you want to lecture. Not how much you think you'll know to catch up to whatever. How much you want to know for yourself. For no other reason but to know, not to make your business pop, not to make, you know, the pussy game, the pussy pimp ham stronger or whatever fucking your mixtape, <laughs> whatever niggas got going on. You got to put those worldly things down and understand, first and foremost, you have to have you have to be honest with yourself and make a commitment to yourself for absolute honesty, no matter what it takes you. And this will conflict with your with your ego. This will conflict with it. But it's, it's designed to, it's supposed to, because the ego isn't real. And if you are dedicated to find that which is real, the first thing you must check is the shit coming out your own head about yourself. Because that's the first thing you know is fake. And you know it's fake. Come on. If you got 10 pieces of pussy, you talk, you telling the world you got 15. That's what humanity does. You have to be honest with yourself on that level. And then when you start turning it in, you start seeing that you're responsible for a lot. You start taking responsibility for the cause again. It's not, you're not really informing anybody, anybody. You're just ranting about how mad you are about white people. You know what I'm saying? And in turn, you're doing the magic for them. Fuck the occult, fuck this secret society. The more you got them on your lips, the more you're doing their magic for them. While you think you're tearing them down, you're actually raising them up. See, I understand why Elijah Muhammad called them the devil. Because it was, like I say, he was in that secret society and he had to dish the black people. So the first thing you would tell them who they believed the devil was in the fucking ground. For, of all things was there he go right there but we were still supposed to graduate from that shit you know what i'm saying first of all before the white man was on the planet which you co-signed they weren't here that fucking long who was the devil then because this concept was around way longer than them so who was the devil then you know what i'm saying the devil was nothing but fucking polarity this whole fucking conversation motherfucker this shit is putting towards his reality which he really has none he has none. His greatest greatness has came and gone. 
he is living on your belief of his greatness. The day you see this thing as with the relevancy of an ant, the day it will be an ant and you will watch out because you might step on it. This, I promise you, I'm not guessing. This ain't an interpretation. This is shit. This is the laws of attraction. You ain't got, don't trust me, trust Oprah. She told you the secret. You know, like I, I've always maintained and, I, and I've gotten it stronger that we are here for many different reasons. We're not all here under the same reason. Like the, the reasons, the idea that we all here and have one plight is the same kind of thing. We were all slaves and we all got chopped up and we all won't know. So we all have this problem. So we have this collective mentality all over, but shit, you've met certain niggas and you know, I don't know who the fuck them niggas are. You know what I'm saying? And then you met other niggas like, oh, those are great niggas, but I still don't know who them niggas are. And you kind of feel we're the same, but it seems like we have different business and it's not necessarily bad or good, but we need to understand it's not just a uniform said, thing. You may have a favorite cup and that favorite cup of yours is your bliss. He said, but what you can guarantee is that cup will be broke. So not mm -hmm. to focus on the tragedy of life, of the cup being broke, you need to fo focus on the happy times the happy times that you had with the cup. And that's the only bliss you're going to get down here. You get he, said, he said, I'm sorry I broke your cup. She said, I knew you was going to break my cup. Remember that? Right, She said, yes. the, question, the question is, would you have done it if you would have known? What's your favorite cup is going to be broke. Your pillow, your favorite pillow is going to get lost. Your cat right. will die. You get what I'm saying? Yes. But you need yes. to live in the moment with your cat. So, so